Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, JI Squad? And welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be attempting to fix the oil leak that I'm getting from the oil pan. If you guys have been in tune with all the vlogs, then you guys would have seen uh, last sometime last week. We ended up raising the car up to do the 20,000 mile oil change and I ended up seeing that the oil pan was literally covered in oil. There was oil everywhere um, and literally on that video, one of you guys commented and said that you had the same issue with your 2017 1LE and basically the bolts had ended up backing out and so that's why it was leaking literally everything that bro said in his comment is exactly what i saw on the car when i had it in the air so i'm pretty sure this is going to fix the issue also somebody else ended up commenting correcting me telling me that there's not an oil pan gasket it's really just a sealant um type deal which is also something that i really didn't know so with that being said man you know what i'm saying i just want y'all to know i really do Pay attention to all of you guys' comments. I really do read every single one. Um, and it not only does it help me out when it's actually, you know, a serious informational comment and not just a troll, you know what I'm saying, or a keyboard, keyboard warrior, you feel me? So with that being said, man, we got Vader sitting right here, man. I'm finna go ahead and cut it on um, and pull it in the shop. And we'll get it up in the air and I'm going to see if I can tighten down these bolts. We'll even see if they're even loose. If they are, we'll tighten them down, clean everything up, and just keep an eye out on it for the next oil change. Um, I might drive it for like 20 to 30 miles, something like that, and get it up in the air again just to see if that fixed the issue. If not, then you know what I'm saying, we'll drop it off at Frank over there at Mike Hike Chevrolet and get the guys to take care of it. Regardless, Vader is going to be taken care of also another update if you guys remember when i put the tow hook on i told y'all i was a little on the fence about having the tow hook on because of the simple fact that this little grill piece had to be removed but i was able to finagle and i got it on with the tow hook and so it looks a whole bunch cleaner i just wanted to let you guys know that because i'm super stoked about that it was really 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 messing with me that i didn't have that but like I said, I'm finna get the car in the shop, get it up in the air, and uh, we'll go from there. It needs more loud, man. It needs more loud. I'm really thinking about changing this exhaust setup. I'm not gonna lie. I just want it a little bit louder, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, maybe a little bit crazy, but it definitely needs an exhaust change very soon. As y'all can see we are underneath Vader right now and I did clean underneath here when I did the last oil change and as y'all can see it's pulling back up now like I said some people in the comments were telling me to try tightening the bolts around the oil pan and seeing if that fixes the issue so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to go ahead and try to tighten all these bolts see if any of them are actually loose if they are then they probably it's probably going to fix the issue but if it's not then you know my boy frank is going to have to take care of this one so let me grab a socket set because i don't know what size they are and we'll get straight into it it is a 13 millimeter socket for the bolt 
literally this bolt that's right here i don't know how well y'all can see it i don't know if they can see that real good but bro it's literally it was literally loose like i could wiggle it with my fingers so we're not gonna go too tight just enough because you know it's an aluminum block it felt pretty tight but you got yeah a flashlight i can show it to him yeah, Man, you see the oil and everything right here, man. Uh, they, I don't know if y'all can see that, guys, but yeah, man, they got oil and stuff. Same thing that happened to my 2018, bro. So basically, I had loose bolts on my. Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker was definitely yeah, loose. It's up in there. Straight down there. I don't know how well they can see that. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all can. Just want to give it a couple turns. Good. This one wasn't too bad, but just gonna go through and do all of them. Even though I shouldn't have to do this goddamn Chevy, what y'all doing, man? Yeah, you know, coming off the assembly line, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What they, what they out there doing, man? See, so this side is dry as hell. So it's probably just that one yeah, boat. I think it's just this side. Bro, you see all that oil and stuff right there. Yeah, bro. Watch your head, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't like how this one keeps going, though. Nah, you don't, you don't want to tighten it too tight. Yeah, I might leave it like that. Have that boy Frank take oh, over. Oh, snap. Hold on, bro. We got to do that. I, I didn't record. I had started it, though. Nah, I didn't. Just Damn. Run it back, I guess. Fuck it. I'm about to my God. I, had to get I, was back. Like, I knew I started it, my guy. I'm like, wait a minute. What do you mean? Damn, I really gotta take off this whole undercovering bro. to get to them other two. Cause if you look in there, bro, them hoes are wet too. Yeah, you're gonna have to yeah, you're gonna have to take off this. Bro, that's a lot to take off. This Frank, Frank is gonna Frank Frank is gonna have to take off all of it. Frank, I know you're watching. I hope you're ready, goddamn. I ain't doing this. <laughs> Shit, man, it's crazy. Get back over here, bro, because it's like you got you in the dark. Okay, you know, I'm big goddamn dark skin, sir. All right, big dark skin. You hey, gotta have it like the very sweet of the juice, bro. Exactly, but there we go. Now we on count. Nah, but yeah, man. Um, I don't, I don't know. I probably can't reach that like as is. Like we said, gotta take this off. But I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm gonna let Frank just drop the oil pan and redo the sealant that's up there and redo, retwerk all the bolts down in spec. Um, like I said, man, it's an aluminum block. I don't want to keep going and then mess around and strip something. <laughs> shit, strip that joint. Had a freaking head of the bolt snap off. Oh yeah, that's my wide band 02 sensor belt, uh, bone for my boy. Mm -hmm. You know, fast guy shit. That's what that is. Okay. You know, once you once you start, you know, once you start doing. These right here? Fast guy shit. Fast guy shit. <laughs> the tuner gonna have to put one of those in your car. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, man, um, other than that, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and close this video right here.